going on guys back in the tree this evening it's monday november 28th i'm hunting on my late season property again uh, the deer really getting going out here um, i had i have two big eight pointers out here i'm calling them eight one and eight two eight one is a big wide deer that i know from last year showed up here in september kind of went missing through october and uh, showed back up in the last few weeks he comes to eat pretty regularly. Um, I feed in two places back up on my property. Where I'm at down here, I'm on core land behind my property. And um, so the deer are filtering out of this thick pine wooded area. They feed through this little oak bottom here and then they'll come over to my side. And it's pretty consistent movement of right after dark, they're moving into my property and right before daylight, they're moving out of my property. So I'm back here as close as I can get, basically to the bed, um, hoping that they're coming through here and kind of staging here a little early. Uh, it's a pretty long walk back in here, probably 600 yards or so. I had to cross a creek and uh, basically a river. <laughs> but we made it in here. We have about an hour and a half till dark. Um, the other deer I have is 8-2. And he's a heavier, taller eight-pointer and i have pictures of him eating on the 25th um about 30 minutes before dark and then i have pictures of him running a doe right here the 23rd so they're both really active have been in here um in daylight or almost in daylight in the past week multiple times and uh, i'm really just trying to figure out where they're coming from because they could be coming from where this creek enters the goes through the pine bottom all the way over here to my left about 150 yards so there's like a big span they could be walking through and i really feel like they may be walking down that edge more um just the way they're walking by cameras and walking into the food they're coming from this direction um so i'm kind of on the edge of that but we don't really have a very good wind today and it's warm right at about 60 degrees uh what it is right now until dark <laughs> so my wind's gonna carry over behind me drop down in this creek and get out of here um, so i'm just kind of hunting the safest area here it's the first time i've pushed back in this far so i don't want to jump back in here and mess it up or anything but um eight one the wide deer fed 20 minutes after dark um about 150 yards behind me and he come from this direction so Hopefully he'll come through here. Um, there's a lot of rubbing and scraping in here um, And those two are the main two targets, but there's a couple other deer that come through here sporadically That would also be shooters as well So I'm gonna sit here and cross my fingers and say a little prayer and uh, Hopefully I can get one of these deer on the ground here pretty soon Rut should be just kicking off here in the next couple weeks and uh, should be wide open
shot that deer. I was gonna shoot that deer. He's got a nice frame. Still there. He's got a nice frame. I mean, a good frame, nice deer. Man, he didn't have no brow tines. He had one little brow tine about that tall. In, in Georgia, in this county, it's either gotta be 15 inches wide or have at least four points on one side. And that brow time was, oh man, that was tiny. I don't know if it would have been an inch, but golly, that happened in just a second. They passed by it like, I mean, that's 14 yards. He passed by 14 yards right behind a doe. I mean, that would have been absolutely perfect had he been a big deer, bigger deer. But he's not one of the two deer that I have in here that are a lot bigger and I know there's a couple more other than those two. So I decided to give him a pass. Oh, but... had another nice buck come running from where the doe and the buck went into and the spike come out of. He just come running across the hill with his mouth open. By itself. I don't know what deer that was. I couldn't tell. I looked and saw it wasn't. I don't think it was one of the two big ones. I don't know. 